We're at Sleeper Curve, on location, making the video for Vultures. The, uh, the song Vultures is a pretty, pretty dark tale, actually. It's about um, a girl who was abused as a child by her father um, and ended up going off the rails. You know, she gets into drinks and drugs. In steps, this religious cult promises the world to her. She joins up and it pretty much ends up twisting around and sucking all the life out of her. I'm Lindsay Chapman and uh, I'm playing Lucy, which is the lead role in the music video. Um, I was really attracted to the song when I heard it on the internet. Um, I thought it was really catchy and it really interested me straight away, so I thought I really want to be involved in this project. And then when I had a closer look at the lyrics and the ideas of the character, um, I thought I can really get something out of this and give it a good go. The challenge was to come up with a video that can, can say this in a half minute. Um, and I think Lewis has done a really good job on it, um, condensing it down to just like the day in life of this girl. Um, and everyone she reaches out to um, turns into demons, which will look amazing. So Lewis took us through the storyboards. Um, we turned up, we played the song umpteen times, and the video itself has just gone beyond all our expectations. It's absolutely amazing how we transferred what was on the storyboard to what we've done today. Um, it's been awesome. I mean, just look at the weather. It's, it's great. And uh, we just we just want to bring on more video shoots. Sleeper Curve formed through a website called MusoFinder which allows musicians to uh, put a profile on there and then search and get into contact with each other and, and form bands. Well, it's well and good kind of forming bands with your friends, uh, but a lot of the time they can't play, whereas you know if you go on MusoFinder you'll find people that can do what they say they can do. Yeah. You, you, can, you can filter out quite on a lot of different criteria yeah. so you can, you know, makes the search a lot quicker. Before we even met up with these guys, what bands we were into, kind of what their yeah. past history and bands was going to be. So, you know, it's not wasting time meeting a bunch of idiots that, you know, are into acid jazz or I'm not saying there's anything wrong with acid jazz, but I knew that, you know, if I met up with these guys, they're into the same kind of stuff as me and it'd be a good basis to have a beer and then, you know, have a jam. Those